And welcome back. We're here with Color 10 Sports Director Dan Lucy. Good to How see you, doing, Dan. Good, good to be here. Let him out of the sports department That's for a right. few minutes. We're busy working uh, well, a high school football night. Actually, the last Friday night football uh, of the season, after this point, the playoffs moved to Saturdays. Oh. Closer to state championships. So. Yes, we good, good. are. We're getting into November, and speaking of, it is no shave November, hence the, uh, yeah, yeah it looks little, good. Got a little scruff going on the, on the face there. Doing good, <laughs> doing good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I didn't do it last year because of COVID, wearing a mask all the time and everything, um, but this year I decided to try to go back to it, and mm -hmm. it's just a reminder for people, uh, especially to remember men's health situation, right. men's cancers. Um, prostate cancer being one of them mm -hmm. and, and kind of what I am an advocate for that way. So I kind of let it go. People go, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, this is the reason. And then you kind of talk to them a little bit about it. And, you know, maybe if you get one or two guys to go see their doctor and get a physical, then it works. The yeah, problem is, guys, we're not sick until someone tells us we are. Yeah. yeah. So we don't, we don't, we're not proactive. Right. And I've talked to people before at, at ball games, at, at basketball games and baseball games. I ask them, I say, well, when was the last time that you went and saw the doctor for a physical? I'm talking to a 45-year-old guy, a 40-year-old guy, and they go, well, in high school, I tried out for the football team. Right. Uh -huh. And it's, you know, the, you, you worry about your daughters, you worry about your wives getting mammograms and stuff. But for men, you have to go get uh, uh, some cancer screenings as well. When you get to about 50 years old, um, you want to get screened for prostate cancer. Right. And just you go in for a physical with your doctor. Your doctor gives you a blood panel is what they call it. They're looking at your cholesterol. They're looking at your blood pressure, all that kind of stuff. You can ask them for, to test your PSA, which is an indicator of whether or not you have prostate cancer. Not a big difficult it's, test. No, it's, not, it's just a blood draw. The same When they take your blood to do your cholesterol, they, do, they can just take another vial and, you, and do that. And you just ask the doctor about it, and they'll take care of it. Those things, it's not... If, if you have a bad number on there, yeah. it doesn't mean that you've got cancer, but it's one of three, it's like a three-legged stool that you can look at, okay, that's one thing, get the next test, then get the next test, and if those things, then maybe you need to talk to a urologist and see what's happened. The deal is that for men 65 years and older, mm -hmm. six in 10 have prostate cancer. Oh, yeah. And it's something that can be uh, corrected, it's something that can be um, treated a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. There's more than just one way to do it. Um, and it's very, uh, it's something you need to be aware of if you're a man, if you're above 50 years old, you need to be, at least know what your PSA number is, know where you stand on this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got it in your family, uh, maybe a little younger, maybe 45 or so to, to, to look, look Did at. you go regularly to the doctor? No, I mean, in my case, I went, uh, I mean, you, you go and get physical. Yeah, So I was. you did that. Right, and I was okay. 50 years old. Mm -hmm. I was 50 years old, my wife goes, go to the doctor and get a physical, so I did. I was 51, you wanna go back and get another physical? And I said, well, I mean, I, I had one last just year. Did this, yeah. yeah, and they said no, and I got another blood draw and my number had gone up in one year. Enough that my, my PCP said, hey, I, I want you to go see a urologist. And then they did the other test and they said, yeah, you've got prostate cancer. And then I went and had the robotic surgery and then that was in 2014 mm -hmm. and then now. So November comes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it's also one of these things where I'm sure you went into that second physical. You felt fine. Oh, yeah. You were healthy. Hey, nothing wrong with me. Uh, Why should I go? Right. right. And that's the thing. There's no, I mean, there, there can be no symptoms with that. Or, or, you know, it's not something like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom a lot at night. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think, oh, well, that's a, a hint. That's not, you know, a number of different things can do that. Right. But, you know, when you get to an age, when you get to about 50 or so, so I'm, I always tell everybody, I always talk to, to, um, Wives and daughters, mm -hmm. talk to your dad about this. Talk to your husband about this. Yeah. If, if you're 50 and you haven't been to the doctor for a physical in 20 years, you might want to make an appointment. Good. Th thank you, Dan, no, no Lucy, for doing Thanks, that. Dan. And all the guys taking part in No Shave November, yeah. we appreciate you. And uh, do the right thing. Get, exactly. Take charge of your own health. All right. Now we're going to talk to Matt.